So it seems like LJ Fort has got nothing to lose. Because as of right now, LJ Fort could be a very good linebacker for us. We need a good coverage linebacker. And we haven't really had one in a while. Okay. Um, a lot of the guys we have, not really. I think Paul Worlow is a cover, a little bit of a coverage guy. LJ Fort is a coverage guy. But other than that, we don't really have any good coverage linebackers. Okay. Um, depending on how Jim Schwartz wants to use these guys, I, I'm very excited about this linebacker group and how much um, competition there's going to be, uh, especially in the mini camp coming up and the training camp coming up. Uh, and, and with preseason ahead of us, uh, almost here. Getting there, but almost here. LJ Forch used to be in cut, okay? After having a late, great season with the Steelers last year, you know, never really starting games, never really doing much of anything until late last year. And he showed up, okay? Um, so you have somebody right now that it, deep inside him, he's been cut. And he knows what it's like to get cut off a roster. He knows what it's like to not make a team. And there's nothing stopping him. And Jim Schwartz praises LJ Fort. Pretty much quote-unquote says he's more than a coverage linebacker. And if he's saying he's more than a coverage linebacker, then there's a lot of good things coming out of LJ Fort. Um, especially in this camp right now, o from OTAs and then going into uh, mini uh, mandatory mini camp soon. So um, all I really gotta say is I'm very happy that they picked up LJ Fort. Like I'm, I'm happy with having Zach Brown. I'm happy with Nigel Bradham. I'm, I'm happy. Um, you know, I'm happy with you know a, a bunch of other guys like Paul Worlow. You know, and having you know depth pieces like Nate Gary. Um, but at the same time. LJ Ford could be that guy that we sign after this year. It could be another guy we sign after this year. Okay, we just need to see how he plays, how his preseason panels out, how Paul Worlow's, you know, preseason uh, pans out. So, and it's all about staying healthy. But the more depth at linebacker, the better we're going to be. Because last year, we weren't prepared. We weren't prepared because we, you know, Jordan Hicks goes down or Nigel Brown breaks his thumb, comes back in, plays, you know, plays the rest of the, se you know, the season. But, you know, you had Nate Gary get snaps, which I'm happy because, you know, our linebacker group has had starting experience, which is great. You're not having this guy that's never been in an NFL snap before come into a game, and you got to kind of really wonder. Not like Nate Gary. I'm, like, comfortable with him being in there. But, hey, the guy's got a lot of experience. The guy has something to prove. The guy's a chip on his shoulder like everything else, like all these other guys do. And I know LJ Fort does have a really big chip on his shoulder. Oh, cannot forget Cam Gruger Hill as well. Um, Grusha Hill, Gruger Hill, whatever you call him. Um, cause he's a, become a very good all around linebacker. So very happy with this group. Uh, we were very thin in the beginning, but LJ Ford has a lot to prove. Okay. I don't mean to go off topic with the whole linebacker group, but Hey, it's very important because this was one of our weakest positions last year. Um, so that's really it guys. So I just want to go over LJ Fort and, you know, what it kind of means to him and, and, you know, he's really got nothing to lose coming, you know, this year and this off season. So, uh, that's all I really got to say, guys, I will see you guys later. Shake's going up. Fly, fly.